And this is the scene here at the home of Galatasaray in Istanbul. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got potentially exciting league action coming up on the menu for you. Stuart, your expectations? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And the starting 11 for Galatasaray. Well, they're playing with two up front, but they have different roles. The main striker has to use his pace to run behind the defence. The second striker is trying to find pockets of space to receive the ball and get himself turned. It's a good combination, I think. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre-backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. And now they get the ball rolling. Boy. Lucas Torreira now. Agun. Torreira. Moving it forward. Can he play it in? Dangerous looking attack. Well, thumped clear. Well, as far as the visitors are concerned, this is an exceptionally leaky defence. And, Stuart, something they're going to have to address. Well, unless they improve their defensive play, I can't see them getting anything from this game. They lack organisation. Oh, they opportunity here, Stuart! Able to close down the shot. Icardi. Agun. And on the ball, Sergio Oliveira. Kerem Aktur Kolu. A oh, tremendous vision. And space to cross it. Ikadi. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. This attack looks highly promising. Textbook defending inside the box. Bardacci. And possession lost, intercepted. Yilmaz. Mersens, Sasha Bowie, Agun, still passing it around with authority. Torreira, it's still alive, and the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly, the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Cardi Mertens must take the lead here able to get his body in the way 
Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. He's thrusting through the gears, Dries Mertens. But really sticking to their task defensively. Icardi. Chance to take the lead. And saved by the keeper. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? And a short corner, let's see. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? And no way through. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. This to open the scoring here. Can they keep it out? Torreira. Crossing opportunity. Is it going to be? A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here's the replay. And I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0 well the electronic board showing one additional minute well the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks we're at well underway once more and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half physically strong and secure on the ball Terrific block. Kerem Aktur Kolu. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Sergio Oliveira. And he takes it on. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two goal lead now. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Boy, promising attack this and credit is due for that good piece of defending oh a perfectly timed pass Torreira racing forward trying to catch them out a sloppy pass take some progress with the ball at his feet Can he find the angle? 
And teammates to play it to. Mauro Icardi here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, as those stats tell us, Galatasaray have controlled much of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. And just slightly offside. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Yilmaz. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Agun. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Van Anholt. Icardi. Oh, right in the nick of time. Just 15 minutes remaining. And what can they do to stop him running at them? And options in the centre. Timely intervention. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Over it comes. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Who can they pick out? And fired against the crossbar. Well, it has come to nothing. Could play it in. Corner awarded. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Playing it in. And the penalty has been given here. <laughs> they know they've got to convert this. And he puts it away confidently. Well, here it is again. And just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So there we have it. 2-1. Leo Dubois. Mertens. Can he finish them off? Oh, good save. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner.
And there's the delivery. Well, not the easiest of chances. Tightly marked, but not even close in the end. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters.